Hi guys. I was gonna make a video like a screen recording one and do uh, um, go on to my Facebook and go back and read an old post, but I'll just tell you what it said. Um, it was from three years ago today, and it said, "It is intimidating to know the truth when everyone else believes a lie." And it just kind of brought me right back. I, first of all, I didn't know it's been three years since I've been seeing with these eyes. It, I guess I would have guessed more like two years, but now that I think about it, it it's been that long. But I was in a weird spot three years ago today. A hard spot, really. I could see all these lies and all this deception around me, but everyone else told me I'm crazy guess what it's gonna flip around because it's been three years guys every day that has gone by in these three years I've learned a large chunk of more reason to uh, basically I don't have to explain any of the science or any of the you know what about this? <laughs> the stars spin a different way in the southern hemisphere around the. Nah, nah, nah. It's all just man made knowledge. If God was here, he would come down and he would say, or if he came down, he would say, uh, What are you guys all arguing about, debating about with words without knowledge? That's what he'd say. And then he'd tell us to shut up and listen to him talk for a minute and he'd do what he did to Job in Job 38. He'd explain a few things and maybe put us in our place. We aren't smart. We aren't uh, we aren't anything but what our our uh, father created. And that's I call that faith. Whatever someone wants to call it, it doesn't matter. Um, but there's a debate going on. Is the world flat? Is the world a sphere? Forget about the world being flat or the world being a sphere. How about this? There's no such thing as a sphere unless space is a big empty vast place. So that's why the sphere's there, guys. Satan saw an opportunity to deceive. He said, oh, there's wandering stars up there that are, they look round, the moon looks round, they're spherical. The sun looks spherical, possibly, or there's some circular. But, I can tell everyone a big lie with my dominion that I have over them over all the kindred and I can make them believe it and that's what he's doing right now and he's making people worship that image and he's making people drunk off of the wine of Babylon the whore of Babylon you guys are wander you guys are wondering and marveling at at the whore in Revelation 2 21 I think right around there it's I don't remember which letter or which church it was through but it said or change all of the churches it said uh it's talking about Jezebel and her craft and her uh seducing the children of Israel and uh that's that's what's happening now because the children of Israel aren't gonna overcome and have victory over the beast and his image. But everyone else in the world is going to be uh, deceived like we all were, but they, they're they going to be deceived until uh, God shakes the power of the he powers of the heavens. And Babylon will fall. Babylon is not... Uh, Babylon is the firmament. I don't know if it's the firmament, but it's the idea of a vast universe of 
space that the Bible doesn't have in it and that the Bible totally uh, is the opposite of it tells the opposite story there's a firmament I think that's if you were going to say flat earth I would rather have you say space is fake because the earth is obviously flat <laughs> when you get it when you get an airplane and you you take off you reach altitude and you level off if you fly for how long 16 18 hours do you actually go upside down no you don't only in your forehead is where you do it because you don't ever go upside down the plane the pilot never tries to go like this they're just flying over the, the earth flying over the earth from this point to that point in a straight line it's the simplest thing that anybody it's it's for what is it babes ears for babes to understand or children to understand but um, yeah that post that I I shared it this morning and wrote a little thing I know it, it's like I see what's happening in our world and nobody listens, nobody cares. I Daily, I am trying to spread truth politely, respectfully um, to people that I have a lot of respect for that just are, I mean, I'm sure they're not going to think that this is something risking their neck because they've got they're close to Christ but the we have to put our everyone's always saying to put their armor on no one's wearing armor no one if you're wearing the armor of God you'd be looking out for these deceptions you'd be leaning on the, the understanding that's in the word and not your own eyes and your ears I mean That to, you can go watch a SpaceX launch. You can go watch one. And if you got a nice camera, you can watch the. And people have done it. Astronomy Live did it. Um, and I don't know who else, but I, I know that SpaceX has done it with their cameras um, to keep one continuous video the whole uh, launch and return and, and the booster lands. Um, you can go watch it. It's real it's physically real guys but that's just uh, it's just a show they send a rocket up in the air and then it breaks and the bottom half comes back down and we don't know what happens to the top half it goes to space and it orbits the earth but we all know that that doesn't happen if we've got our uh, our ears to the word because there's no such thing as an orbit there's no such thing as a... God created the earth in a simple way. There's an up and a down. There's waters above the firmament, below it, on either side, and all around it. The stars move around in the firmament, right around us. They do a circle around Polaris every day. Polaris every day. And it's really simple. It's really simple. We've just been confused. We've been confused and distracted and misguided. Um, at the age of five when you first hear about the globe um, I know for a fact that well probably everyone but when I was in school I don't remember uh, even that I don't remember talking about a globe at all or anything I remember the maps on the chalkboards that would uh, they actually unreal the old style they were like a canvas map I remember those and I'm sure there was globes but I just I don't remember them but my entire existence I've lived on a sphere and why is that seriously why why do you think you live on a sphere let's separate something in half so that we can be clear about it let's say uh, uh, because it's a belief either way if you can believe what's in the word or you can believe what's in the world um, it, You have to believe one or the other something's going in your forehead. You know what I'm saying something's going to be uh, your understanding now 
I used to twist my Bible to the world's understanding, and that works just fine. But the problem is that that's exactly falling for the trap that we've all been warned about. Um, science is falsely so-called. If you go out and you do real science and make, and, oh yeah, I was splitting it in half. So we have uh, your uh, science intellectual argument. The 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 if if you observe things from the surface of the earth with the, with your body, your perceptions, your eyes and ears, it's a flat world. There's no argument for that. There's no perception of any curve ever on earth ever. Um, if you're perceiving a curve, you're not you're not thinking right. You just can't see it with your eyes. And the only time that you ever see this curve is before every movie you watch. The, the globe is shoved in your face ten times a day, and you don't even realize it. It's in it's mind control. It's they're putting it in, in your mind what you're supposed to believe, and you're believing it. Um, breaking it in half, you have their story, and you have your own story. If you analyze it, your own story, I guarantee you, tells you you live in a flat world, and up and down never change, and uh, gravity is another story. There's plenty of explanation for that. But um, it's, it's simpler. It's the nature of the world. That God created, but you have. If you're going to believe them, let me just put it this way: If you're going to believe them, that's a choice that you're making. And most people are not even conscious that they're making a choice. Most people, they made that choice before they could consciously make a choice because it was shoved down their throat when they were three years old, in their crib. I mean, that. Um, why is there thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people? from every nation right now in our world screaming at the top of their lungs that we don't live on a sphere and that space is fake. Why? You answer that question to me. Because they know why they're screaming. They know why they're telling you. Because they care about you and they're supposed to tell you. It's been put in their heart to tell you. So, um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's about time that people start taking this seriously. It's not a taboo subject and it's not ridiculous. It's the truth. Have a good day.